Hey everybody, uh, back for just a quick little um, bonus material here, or maybe or something. I was cleaning these uh, Wicco joysticks out, as you can see on my table here. Got a ton of parts all over the place, cleaning some joysticks, etc. But anyway, I was looking at these, and um, this is the eight-way base plate. And as I was looking, I saw that you know there's little indentations up here very close to where the holes the mounting holes are um, on the wickos and then I found I saw this one oh, not that one this one here and you can see that those those um, the plastic mold holes are slightly different and the other thing is you can see like usually the the metal is kind of encased with plastic now that plastic might wear out like you can see here but you see some remnants of the plastic where the um, you know support washer or metal support on the inside is covered up, probably to prevent rusting. And on this one, that does not look like the original Wicco. You can see that it's rusting quite a bit, and it doesn't look like there was ever any plastic there um, to kind of go over it. So that was one thing. And then the other thing was I learned about. Um, I thought that these uh, these little plastic pieces were attached like permanently attached and here's a, a broken leaf switch but you can actually get these uh, plastic things off like that um, and so you can actually install those I was I had those extra leaf switches that were from um, a non wicko stick and you can use basically take these little plastic snap-in protectors and uh, put them on these other leaf switches over here so I just wanted to show that real quick um, and that's it I'm drinking 60 minute IPA dogfish head um, and then obviously just sitting here cleaning joysticks off thanks to Ty's video I'm not getting them super polished and everything, but definitely cleaning them up, cleaning all the rust off um, by spinning it in a spinning it in a drill, etc. So, all right, just a quick video. Um, maybe I'll show some assembled sticks here next time. Cheers. Okay, everybody, um, back. It's a different day. I've been um, traveling and stuff, so I haven't finished all this work that I started. But um, I have uh, soaked. Um, I had purchased um, three new old stock. Um, Wicco skinnies, the I think those are the um, quarter inch uh, ones, and they're very, they're not very tall, skinny shaft, and um, I've assembled a couple of them together after soaking the parts in uh, like evapor rust and stuff like that. There was some oxidation on it and everything, so I just wanted to clean them up. They look really good, and so I figured what we do is just assemble one of them real quick. So this is um, on the wick the the skinny um, non heavy duty stick so you can see the difference like this is the 3 8 inch diameter I think and this is maybe a quarter inch diameter so these are the skinnies the base plate for those um, and the mounting are a little bit different you have um, instead of the uh, snap-in leaf switch styles you have these brackets that hold the leaf switches in uh, so we're gonna I just figured I'd show you that real quick also on this one you can see though that the divots where the mold is um, is close to where uh, the mounting holes are as well so that's kind of a and you also see that like plastic covering the metal support on the inside there um, if you guys can see that so that's kind of a, what I've from the ones I've looked at that's indicative of a true wicko it's a round hole gray base it's eight way so we're going to put it upside down like this. Then we're going to take the uh, high part of the, well actually we're going to put the black washer in first. And we're going to put it in this way. There's actually is a little bit of an indentation so that's, I'm going to put, this black washer actually has a small um, contour to it. We're going to put the contour facing up or facing towards us. Then the high part of the uh, grommet down like that then our washer make sure it is the uh, correct size so you don't have a lot of play in it you should have um, 
you know, the, it should barely um, just be wide enough, like a quarter inch, to fit through the, the joystick versus the 3 8 inch, which would look like, like that. You can see the difference there, hopefully. All right, so we're going to put that washer on. And then we put our um, restrictor, bottom restrictor plate on, and this one is round, so it's round on the base plate and round on the, the restrictor side or the leaf switch side as well. Then we use our screws, put those in. I'll speed this up. I'll probably cut this part out real, real quick. When I... Tighten all that in. Okay, now to, um, let's see, where's my... Now to mount the brackets, um, I like to let's see here. You definitely want to see there's a yeah, you know, there could be there's a couple holes that are threaded and that needs to go you know be facing this way so you have the leaf switch so we take our our the correct screws are the these ones right here these are the two different screws if you took took everything apart and didn't keep track I'll show you right there this screw on the right um, is more of like a, a plastic type of screw the thread spacing is is wider and the one on the left is the machine screw the machine screw goes into the bracket and holds the leaf switch um, to the bracket and the the plastic or or wood screw is what um, holds the bracket on so this is the way you want to do it right here I think it's easier if you put the bracket on first, but I've done it both ways. We'll do one this way. Obviously this is plastic, so you want to be careful about tightening it down too much. Okay, and then you want to have the leaf switch plastic like this. And the support, the metal support bar, if, it, if it's a Wicco um, leaf switch, it should have this... Uh, support bar like that if you can see that that needs to go on the outside and the plastic needs to go on the inside there's this little um like ridge right there let's see if you can see that there's a little ridge on the plastic yeah you can kind of see it if i can is that focused yeah so you can kind of see that right there that needs to face the leaf switch so it goes like this and then we take our machine screw and come from the inside like that. Okay, so there's one, one that's done. Um, we'll do one just the leaf switch here. Again, you want to make sure you have, um, you kind of want it like this. And then you, so you put the, put the bracket down with the uh, threaded holes facing to the left if you want to, or you could do it this way, I guess. Threaded holes facing to the right. Put the leaf switch in. The leaf switch um, protector, plastic protector. 
and then make sure that the uh, leaf switch with the extra support bar is on the other side and then come together like that. Hopefully I did this right. it on like that so I've done it both ways I don't know if I like like doing it this way better or not kind of center everything and then it goes like that so you can do it both ways Alright, I'll pause and be right back. Okay, we have everything um, hooked in here. Probably need to adjust these leaf switches a little bit. Um, but I'm going to put the stick in there first just to see if they get a little bit closer. But then what we do is we take the stick, um, put it through the plastic washer on the top, through the grommet, and then through the washer on the bottom. Slide your um, actuator with the skinny side going towards the ball handle and the cone side towards the leaf switches. You kind of have to pull these leaf switches apart a little bit. And there is no spring on these. And then just put in the uh, e-clip there. And you have, there's the eight-way joystick. So. I just figured I'd show um, putting these together because I had it all apart and it was a little bit difficult to, uh, I needed an example to actually, okay, what, how, does, how does it all go back together? Um, but that's it right there. One of the things um, I was thinking about doing is here's um, some of the eight ways that I, I cleaned up and are ready to go um, that are the heavier duty side. And they're, they're feeling good, everything's cleaned up. You know, they look pretty decent. Um, but I figured we had a couple more. I have at least one four-way of the, uh, what, three-quarter inch? So that would be this type of actuator and uh, this type of actuator, regular heavy-duty stick. Four-way base. You can see this is a, a, a Wicco. It has the um, plastic kind of covering the inside metal part as well as the mold um, divots closer to the holes there. And this is definitely a Wicco uh, leaf switch holder and uh, restrictor plate and it's four-way. You can see that hopefully on the, um, on the camera. Um, so I figured we could assemble one of these and use um, some of the leaf switches, like some of these leaf switch protectors, and let's see here. And like these are not uh, Wicco leaf switches, but I figured what we do is we could take these apart real quick and see if we can actually assemble them um, with these protectors. Let's just do that real quick. Why not? So I'm, I'm just trying to see if I can actually use non Wicco um, leaf switches. the snap-in style holders. So you can see like this protector here is not the Wicco style. Um, it's definitely different looking. And this leaf switch does not have like the little metal protector either. But if we can, will this snap in there? 
the hole seemed too small. Yeah, so that, that doesn't seem like it's going to work because the holes are too small. Whereas this is one that had, is broken. You can see it has one of the connectors um, broken on it. This just snaps in there. That's actually kind of firm. Maybe I should try a little bit harder. Okay, that one works pretty easy. Let's try this one again. Man. Yeah, the holes just seem not as big. Got one side in. Hmm. Might be able to get it in, but then I don't know if it will snap in all the way. So let's just snap it in without the protector in there. It seems like it doesn't, for some reason, it doesn't go in all the way. They're definitely a little bit different. Um, this is the non Wicca one, and this is the Wicca one. It looks like the base is a little bit different. Can't tell if it's a little bit wider or thicker or something. Definitely looks a little bit longer. Just the black base part looks a little bit longer. Okay, that, that goes in there. Let's see. That's the Wicca one. Yeah, it must be a little bit, just a little bit different and there's a ridge right here that's hitting the leaf switch which kind of prevents it from snapping all the way in on that side let's see, let me see if I have another one that's busted yeah, right here yeah this kind of sucks because like you know for the snap ends it almost looks like you have to have Uh, maybe if I put it in this way, let's see. Because what's happening is um, it looks like there's more room um, between the black part and the leaf switch itself than this top part. So if I reverse it, it might give me a, give us enough clearance there. Boom. No? Did that work? Still doesn't work. Yeah, it kind of it's kind of in there now. So I guess I guess it would work. You just have to kind of finagle it a little bit. And there's a little bit of space in there for the protector. That doesn't really want to go in though. So that kind of sucks that some of these are are broken off because it doesn't look like they really want to fit um, as well as these or as easily as these do. These just kind of snap right in there. Like that, yeah, see so it's, yeah. So that, I guess that's a, uh, 
mission fail as far as trying to repurpose these other leaf switches. I mean, it doesn't look like they're going to go into these snap-ins that well. Um, so, anyway, that's it for, for now. Um, I don't think I need to show you how to assemble this one here, but uh, this is uh, basic. Oh, no, that's my, that's my spare. This is my Wicko right here. Wicko four-way heavy-duty right there. Heavy-duty eight-way Wicko. And skinny eight-way Wicko right here. They did make these in four ways as well, the skinnies. I don't have an example of one of those right now, I don't think. No, that's... No examples of those right now. Is this one a, a Wicko? No, that's a knockoff. So, alright guys, that's it. Hope that helps somebody. Cheers.